Oh, okay. So warp songs do always warp you out of the dungeon, not just to the dungeon entrance. Okay. Like, highly is farther back than I went to go, but whatever. So I missed a step when the water was at its middle layer. Did I say welcome back from Ocarina of Time yet? Welcome back from Ocarina of Time yet. But that's on me for forgetting that there's three layers to the room where you meet Bruto in. I only did layers one and two. Or one and three, really. But as you saw when we were floating back up the first time... Man, I know I jinx myself by saying, Oh, I won't need to come back here. To the layer that makes the water go up to layer three. Yep, there it is, layer two. There's a bombable wall right there. But, you know, it shouldn't really be that big of a deal. Because, you know, we can easily access the areas that raise the water anyway. I mean, I wish there was a hookshot spot there, but I guess our hookshot's not long enough to reach up there anyway. So it's not like we could if we... If it, you know, if there were, if there was, if there were, I'm fine. I'm not possessed or having a stroke or anything like that. Perfectly normal day for me. But you know, I will, I will, I will say, if, if I didn't already say, I don't blame people for thinking that this is a hard dungeon. It's definitely, I was going to say originally, like, oh yeah, this, this dungeon is actually straightforward. When you know where to go, well, apparently not, because I did forget a step there with the water level being on layer 2, but I also don't pl blame people for finding it hard to, you know, exhaust all your options in a, in a dungeon where, you know, you're going between layers and you don't really have the option to freely switch between them. That's not the right room. I'm on the wrong side. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in a dungeon that asks you to raise and lower the water level, and now you're, you know, you're basically setting the dungeon in three different states. That's three different states you have to, you know, go, you know, make sure you've checked everywhere you can possibly access. So it's easy, and as I, as I, as I showed right there, it's easy to be like, oh yeah, I check, I, I finished all my options over here, so that's that layer done. And you, you miss something like this. Or you miss that key that they hide under that door. I'm not tying boots. We don't need that right now. I'm just gonna put my gonna put my iron boots on. Like no, still no boots. Excuse me. There's the key. There's a secret on this one. Heavy? Anything? No. Okay. Meet you back where we needed the key. Yeah. You ever think about how? What, you want to get back to the the waters? Oh, you sure probably fell down here faster this time. You ever think about how when you want to get to the water uh, changer to get it back up to the maximum height? All you gotta do is go through that door, step on this geyser, and then go through another door. Like, with the exception of that one tektite, it's really not that much of a pain to come over here. So, you know, I still stand by my decision to not put a Ferrari's wind mark up here. Man, I missed again. I can't believe it. Don't hit your head on the door. By the way, yes, I have seen that that sculpture on the wall. I forget if I pointed it out. Can't get it yet. Oh no. Oh, I did this too soon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, shut up, Keys. You're not important. Man, look at that ef that effect they got going there on the blocks. With, like, the light shining off of the water. I mean, obviously, that's not exactly what's going on in the game's engine. Like, what, what is it, ray tracing? No. They don't have that on the 64. I'm pretty sure. It's just a nice little detail they added there to make it feel more immersive. That they also have going on in this room, which is pretty sweet. Huh. This switch is red. I wonder if it'll change blue when I hit it. Because I'm going to come down here and... Okay, maybe that's not the brightest idea. Didn't realize the water was this deep. And unfortunately, you can't... What? You can't use a hookshot down here? 
How am I supposed to get out? Help! Oh, there we go. Yeah, the hookshot just freezes tektites. That's another way that the hookshot is basically just the adult boomerang. Oh yeah, look at that. That switch does turn blue. I never realized that it had color. I didn't run out of breath, I just thought it was annoying. And I kept doing it anyway. Ha! Take that, nerd. Oh, right. So it's, it's less about raising and, and lowering the water level in this room, and more about these statues. So they got hookshot spots on them. Don't fall for that one. He's hiding a hookshot spot. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. I'm missing a step again. So what you actually want to do is you want to lower the water before you go across, because you can't do it after you go across. The statues will lengthen their necks like their lesser dog. Had to take a moment to remember that enemy's name. I'm gonna raise it again because this time there's no other hook shot spot. You gotta do the one on the neck. I'm sure these are supposed to be like water serpents or something, but I always kind of saw them as dogs. So the lesser dog comparison is not completely unapt. It is slightly apt. And then you just get on its head and ride him up. I'm sure I've seen that somewhere where you. You stand on some monster's head, and then it lengthens its neck to, to raise you up somewhere. I'm sure, there's plenty of, like, plesiosaur-type dinosaurs that have done that in games. Now there's a, so there is a like like over here, but I... definitely I def, It's definitely not a smart idea to just go on over with it still alive. Can't eat bombs? Well, you can't get hurt by them, so there's one way of dealing with them from range. I don't think you can hurt them with arrows. So I didn't try. But just because you think you're right doesn't mean you shouldn't try anyway sometimes, you know? You can't just go around life assuming you're correct all the time. Sometimes you gotta make sure you're correct. I'm sure... <laughs> Anyone following recent news about, you know, Nintendo 64 emulation on the Nintendo Switch is probably sick of seeing this room. There's no way we can get forward, so we have to turn back. But we can't go back, because the door over there is also locked. And Oh, hello, it's me! Dark Link, conquer yourself. It's a pretty apt description, because I think anyone else, myself especially, is probably used to coming at this guy's like, Ah, I'm gonna fight you! And you, you, you keep locked on. That's something I do a lot, is I accidentally I just thrust at him, because I, I just deep to ooh, press the thumbstick forward so you can get closer to him, and also attack. But when you do that, as I already explained unnecessarily in the last episode, he will hop on your sword. I believe that's a Kill Bill reference. So, yeah. So, you know, you could keep smashing your head against the wall, or I guess a mirror, in this case. I'm trying to find him like this. You can also untarget, which sadly doesn't make him any easier. You know, I would I would hope that they would, you know, teach you like, oh, you've you've come all this way, fighting enemies with, you know, locked on, so that the the key to beating him would be to not lock on. And actually, kind of that's working. Whoop. Okay, don't spin attack. There is actually an item that makes this easier, and I forgot to get it. So another reason I'm kicking myself for not having that. Yeah, you can kind of come at him at different angles without targeting. So it kind of teaches you to break the habit of constantly targeting enemies. Let's just try a couple things here. Stop circling around me, dude. I'm trying to target you, even though you're not supposed to. So yeah, he will dodge your arrows. No, stop stabbing at him! But I believe... No. What if I hit the ground? No? Okay, well, sometimes the hammer is a good option. 
and sometimes not. Maybe if you're not locked on. No? Dark Link is definitely not an enemy I understand. I can't say... I can't say I can beat him quickly. I'm actually dying. And my bottles are full of... Well... Full of empty and full of blue fire. I can't say they're both full of blue fire. Let's try Deku Nuts. Will those work? No. Okay. And this fight actually is based on how much health you have. So the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, no. So the amount of links you have to fight here is based on your health. Well, there's no pots in here, so... Ugh. Die. I'm gonna go get some stuff. Uh, 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 okay. Wait, was that the No, it's the, it, okay. I, I, I can't, the camera, would you, please, I, I'm trying to swim out of the dungeon. It's like it doesn't want to let you. It's wild. Those iron boots look like they weigh a ton. If you wear those boots, you may be able to walk at the bottom of a lake. I guess there's your hint for after you get the iron boots, but before you go to the water temple. Yeah, he's not really paying attention to the fact that we already went there, but that's okay. What are you doing over there? Just in case they haven't shown it off yet, there's actually a, f a, a, a few fences in front of Lake Hylia. You can easily jump over them with Epona. Or you can actually, there's a ladder over there. On that wall, you can actually kind of see it. It goes along this way. And there's actually a ladder over here, too. Which, I don't really think about that being there, because I tend to not go that way without Epona. I figure while I'm in Kakariko Village, I might as well drop by the House of Sculptula and pick up another reward. The curse has been broken! Thank you! Here's a reward for you! You've obtained the Stone of Agony. If you equip a Rumble Pack, you know, equip it in your pause menu, a Rumble Pack, onto your Nintendo 64 controller, it will react to nearby secrets. So that actually, I think... Really only detects grottos. So, you know, secret little... And I can actually show you one, because there's one right nearby that I just know off of memory. So, like, right over here, if you had a Rumble Pack installed into your controller, you know, equipped into your controller, it would be vibrating right now. I'm telling you that there is a secret right over here. So that's really all it, all it does, is it helps you find these. And the 3DS version, they changed it to the Shard of Agony, where it actually sh flashes up a little icon in the corner, as well as making a little ping sound. So, you know, if you're playing it on the 3DS, which has no rumble... Ah, oh, I missed! If you're playing it on the 3DS, which doesn't have any rumble, and you're inclined to not have the sound on, you still have that visual element letting you know that there's a secret nearby. Oh, freaky, he's gonna... I forget if I said this the last time we saw Redeads, but actually, if there's multiple Redeads and you kill one of them, the rest will come over to the body and feast on it or something. Or maybe it's just to come over and stare at it. I forget which. One of those two is probably correct. I shouldn't have opened that. That's a huge rupee. Or should I say a huge waste? I just had to show up to Dan Grotto, man. I just had to do it. Wasted 200 rupees to show off that Grotto. That Grotto costed 200 rupees to show people. Hope you found it exciting. Welcome. What's the owner got to say? An old witch runs the potion shop behind this one. Don't, that's not nice. You shouldn't call her names. You can get to that shop through the door to the left of the counter. I mean, at least he shows pe tells people how to get there. I've got to view how many hearts this restores, but okay. Red potion! Equip it! Use it! Buttons! Excitement? Drink it with C to recover your life energy. You can carry this potion in one of your bottles. Would you like to buy something else? I mean, I would like to see how many... 
It doesn't say. Okay. Hooray. Man, how often do you see people warping here with the blue tunic on? I just want to come over here to the great, to the not great fairies found, the regular fairies found, to get some, you know, get those last five hearts filled in. <laughs> he just falls backwards like he's master mummy. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but. I actually, the serenade of water in particular reminds me of one time I was over at a babysitter's house. You know, when I was young enough to need a babysitter. Well, I guess when my sister was young enough to, for all of us to need a babysitter. Because she, otherwise, you know, when she got old enough, she was the one who would watch us. There was one time where I was just sitting, I don't even remember why I was sitting in the back, you know, the, the back patio alone. But, yeah, there I was, and I was just like, trying to hum all the the warp songs from this game and I, I I something in particular was about serenaded water reminds me of that and I want to say it's because that was like the first time I actually remembered serenaded water on my own here we go again for the third time this room so exciting woo oh man I gotta do this room again too I completely forgot See if I could do it fast enough to uh, uh, ignore the tech tights. Nope, nope, I can feel them on the other side. Ah! Can they reach up here? They can reach! Ah! I guess not if you knock them down. You stop it. Dude, I need those hearts for Dark Link. <laughs> and that one just floats in place for a bit while the water lowers. Ah oh, man, the like light came back too. Hookshot spot is like right above him too. You know, the funny thing about his positioning is I think if you do fall into him, he will spit you out over the spikes and you have to hookshot to get back. All right, here we go. Round three, or two? No, two. Three was for that room. This is the second attempt at Dark Link or Shadow Link. I forget which. There's a distinction, and I don't know it. Yeah, Dark Link. Oh, come on, that should totally hit him. Let's try bombs. I'm not gonna fall for bombs. No, he won't. What if I sh what if I prove to you that I'm the 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 royal messenger? W will that get you to stand down? Will that freeze you? Can I freeze you with the sun song? Let's see, no one ever thinks to try the ocarina. Okay, he's not a dark enough enemy to be affected by that. Well, I guess he's not undead, so he wouldn't be affected by that because of that. There we go, and you get 20 rupees for beating them, apparently. Make sure you go through the correct door. And then the illusion wears off. We got, after such an exciting and iconic and beloved fight, what do we get? An item we already have! We found a long shot, and it's an upgraded hook shot. It extends twice as far. Well, whoop deep. Never mind. I was gonna say whoop freaking do, and he's like, no, this is a fruity dooty doo. That's what I wanted to say. But now I've already messed it up. I already said whoop dee. He's like, eh, whatever. No one, no one cares. Again, how the song of time goes. Man, looking at the time. 
I'm gonna have to cut this into three episodes. Link, be careful. Don't get swallowed by the vortexes. In fact, maybe I'll cut it right there. Um, well, that, that, I'm gonna cut out most of that Shadow Link fight, though. Um, we'll at least see the end of this room. Okay. What am I saying okay to? What am I saying okay to? I guess I'm saying okay to, to that plan, but... Well, don't get swallowed by the Vortexes, Navi warned me! I didn't listen! I think you can actually equip your iron boots and walk out of there. Nope! <laughs> Down the drain I go. I'm so mad, I'm gonna stomp there. I'm gonna stomp the rest of the way. I never do remember how to do this room. It's like, are you supposed to run along the water surface? I mean, that, that, that makes sense, because then you don't, don't get swallowed by the vortexes. Like, Navi explicitly tells you not to. Which is funny that she does that, because... You know, why would you, why would you not avoid those? Oh, okay, maybe you have to switch between... Floating and not floating. Because this... Part of the lake... Or the, the river stream, the flow of the water, is too too steep to walk up with the iron boots. Carefully avoid that. No. Okay. There's another heart there. I don't know if you can tell, but Link doesn't control the best when he's wearing the iron boots. It's kind of weird. Like, why would his handling start suffering from wearing iron boots? you think it would be better because he would be more deliberate with each step. I wasn't sure if he's going to make it past that, but okay. There we go. Now we want to go along the edge. Excuse me. You're sliding up? Why are you sliding up? Why are you sliding up? This side. There. We get out of the water. We should be able to... No? You would figure that this would be where they would, you know, let you play around with the long shot a little bit. And some long shot targets make you long shot along. So you don't get sucked into vortexes. Like that. Make it to the ledge. Come on. Oh wait, I messed up. Because... There is supposed to be a target, I just didn't make one appear. There's an eyeball right there. There's a kid in here! What? Hit it! Come on! Those should count! Okay, they're not gonna count. They're not the count from Sesame Street. They should count here. Become blind, Cyclops Wall. We got a quickly long shot. You open the chest, and it should just be a key. There is a key. In Spanish, that would be here. But in English, it's... Well, I guess also still here, but... It's, it's, that is a stupid joke. That is the stupidest stupid joke I've ever stupided. Oh, I'm back here. Actually, did, was this something we had to come back for? I think it was, so I'm gonna do it. Put on your iron boots. Same silly joke again. Oh yeah, I was supposed to end when I was done that chamber. Oops. Uh, well, I guess we'll see what's through here. And I'll end if this is something we've already done and don't need to come back for. What am I doing? I got to open the gate. And now I can open it from this side! Uh I'm not taking the iron boots off again. And I'm not mad about taking the iron boots off again. I'm mad about having to float back up to get to here and risk being swept around by the flushing toilet. Yeah, I bet you were wondering how long it was going to take for me to, to call it a toilet. Oh, I guess the current is coming from the dragon's, the dragon's mouth. And that's what's... Huh. I was just looking. It's like oh, you know, it's like the it's like the boulders that move around the fire temples. Like they just do that because that's I don't know their magic or something. I don't think about there actually being a source to it, but in this case, there is. 
Take the boots off. Float up. Ignore the clams. No one cares about the clams. I've never, I don't think I've ever eaten clam, and I don't intend to. I just don't give much of a... Don't give much of a care about pearls, either. I mean, I like pearl. I don't care about pearls. Okay, we've already, already done it. So I guess I'll end it here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> Why did I do that? That was stupid.